Hey YouTube, Survivor Johnny here. This weird little thing is called a Bronco uh, 22 long rifle, as far as I know. It's a strange little contraption. Um, the M7 Pilot Survival Rifle that a lot of you guys have, have probably seen, it's the 410 22 that um, it like kind of folds up on itself and it holds the ammo in the buttstock. It's a pretty cool little gun. Well, apparently when the contract when they were looking to, you know, the military was looking to adopt that gun, this was one of the competitors that lost out to that gun, apparently. So, this is how it works. It's a strange little thing. Alright, see how it's got two triggers? This front trigger, you pull it, pull this trigger, and this slides forward. Actually, slides off, if you're not careful like I just did. But slides forward, and... Um, the shell eject is this right here. You push that to, to eject your spent shell. So instead of taking it all the way off, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I think this lever right here is supposed to be like a retention thing so that when you pull this, it, it just goes to the side and you have to do something with this lever like back or forward one way or the other to make it not able to come all the way off. But this thing's kind of old and I don't think it works as good as it's supposed to. So, kind of like a stove video, you can't really, you know, just do a stove video and not burn the stove. Well, you can't do a gun video and not shoot it. So, here's the chamber. Breach it in just one at a time like that. Um, first trigger locks it like that. Now it's ready to go. There's a safety here. Let's see the cross block, cross bolt safety. And then and then you gotta go through, you know, more than you need to. You do like that, eject, load another. I could see why this isn't the best survival gun, why it got beat out by something that had a 410 attached, especially, but it's kind of finicky. So, kind of a simple little thing. Um, apparently, these used to come with a, like a buttstock of sorts. But apparently, I don't know. I mean, this is the way I got it. Um, I've never seen a variant like this with a sling stud swivel pistol grip. I've never seen that variant on the internet. So, I don't know, you know, 40 years ago, did somebody do something to it? It's kind of hard to say, you know. But... It is what it is. It's got a kind of, it's got an adjustable. I hope this is in that you guys can see this, but it's a simple adjustable rear. Um, the front sights are kind of reminiscent of like a M1 carbine or something to me. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that because I can't see the screen on my phone. It's way too bright out here. And then that's it. That's the whole thing. I really only bought it so I could play with it. And <laughs> now that I played with it, I guess I'll give it away. I don't know. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Let's see if I can turn this thing off.